Hi everyone, welcome back to another vlog. Um, I'm just gonna start off this vlog with a really quick Sheen haul. I actually have a couple more orders coming in from Sheen, Christmas presents and whatnot, but I did get a couple of things um, in the mail already. So first off, I got a pair of like workout leggings. I've been working out um, a lot lately. If you guys have been around, I'm currently training um, to do like a 5K. And then um, I've also just been doing regular workouts. So these look like this. They kind of have like a shorts overlay to them. I don't know. They look like really cute in the pictures online. Um, and I don't know. I don't have anything like this. So I'm going to put these on right now. I believe I got a size small. Yes, got a size small. And then I got a couple of fake nails for the holidays. Just this pair of green ones. Um, and then I got these ones, which I really like, and they have like reindeer and snowflakes. And these ones are like short ones. Um, cause I've been having a hard time with long nails lately. I love having like long nails, but I have a hard time wearing long nails. So I got both of those for the holidays. And then the whole reason I placed the order, not the whole reason I placed the order, but the thing that I wanted was, um, I got this little two pack of like cuticle pushers. Um, and so they look like this and you can use them to like push down your cuticle. And I have, I had one that I got on Amazon that I lost and I saw that they were like super cheap on Sheen. I think it might've been like one or $2 for both of them. So got those and last thing, um, I was just looking through the baby stuff and they had these super cute socks, baby socks. So um, I was actually, I planned on giving these, like putting them in my seven month old stocking, but I actually think these are gonna fit my two year old better. So I think I'm gonna put them in her stocking. But yeah, that is everything that I got from Sheen for now. Like I said, I have more stuff coming in. And so when that does eventually come in, I'll share that too. Hi everyone. So I know I said I was going to share um, the rest of the stuff I got from Sheen, but I was looking through, it, it came in today. Um, I was looking through it and it's all either stuff for my daughter's birthday or stocking stuffers. And I'm going to do separate videos on both of those things. So um, keep an eye out for those videos. Anyways, but I do get this in the mail. This was like the one thing I bought on Cyber Monday. That's not true. I bought a couple other things, but this is like the one thing I bought for me on Cyber Monday. Um, and it's a new planner. I did get a 2022 calendar. It says, follow your heart. This is the same like style of planner that I've, I currently am using. And I've used like, this is my third planner of this brand. I don't even know what this brand is. Um, I don't know, but I get them on Amazon. And I just really love the, I like the spiral. I like the way that it has each day. Um, I like that it has like priorities up here so you can put little notes. And then it has like a month at the beginning of each month. Um, and it's just like a really standard planner. Um, it's small enough that it fits in my purse. And so this is like um, same style as the past two years that I've had, but a different cover. It just says, follow your heart. Um, I actually only chose this cover because only some of the covers had Cyber Monday deals and this one was $6. Um, so I am like, I'm the type of person that needs a planner to function. Um, like when I buy a planner, it is to use that planner. My husband's the type of person where he will buy a planner with the intentions to use it and then never pick it up. He'll write two things in it, never use it again. I use the absolute crap out of my planners every single day I use it. So, um, got this one and I actually already have some things that I need to like write in here. But, um, if you guys have like followed along on my channel, I love like stationary stuff. Um, and I feel like my love for stationary stuff came from constantly needing a planner when I was, I've been like using a planner since elementary school because my elementary school like issued planners to everybody. They called them agendas. Um, they issued agendas to everybody every single year to like write your homework and stuff in. So I've been doing that ever since. 
and I just truly cannot function without one, especially like with kids. I all of their stuff needs to be written down or I'm going to forget. So, um, I just wanted to show you guys that. Oh, you know what else I did get? I did get, um, our Christmas card. I ordered our Christmas card and I usually share that every year with you guys, or at least share the one that, um, that I ordered. I wanted to, so here's the story. So I wanted to get a picture of all my kids and my dog and my cat, um, because we got our dog and our cat this year. And so I thought this would be really fitting. Okay, the baby woke up, so I put her in our jumper. But um, as I was saying, the, basically, um, I wanted to get the dog and the cat in the photo. The dog was being wild. Both the babies were crying. So my big, like, family Christmas photo that I wanted um, didn't go as planned. But what I, I ordered one that has, like, um, you can put, like, a bunch of different pictures in it. I think you could put nine different pictures in it if I'm remembering correctly. I'll insert like a clip of my computer screen. Um, and then I just like went through all our photos from the past year and filled it in with like a bunch of random photos, cute photos of the kids and stuff. I always do a Christmas card every year. It's just like our, like a photo Christmas card. It's just like a little tradition. But I, so I did order that on Cyber Monday too because Walmart had a deal. I always do... Um, the past couple years I have ordered Christmas cards on either Black Friday or Cyber Monday um, and they usually have like pretty decent deals. So, or at least Walmart does. So, I think that's it for Cyber Monday sales and Black Friday sales. I didn't really get a whole lot. Most of it was like toys and gifts for the kids. And honestly, the stuff that I got them was not even like that great of a deal. It was only like maybe $2 off or something, I don't know. But yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and clean the kitchen and I will talk to you guys soon. Hello, hello guys. Lighting is not my friend right now. Um, I just got a caramel brulee latte from Starbucks and I also got a snowman cookie because I keep seeing this trend on TikTok where you like bite the head off of a snowman cookie and then you like hover it over your baby and like take a picture and it looks like with like their head is um the snowman's head does that make sense i have no idea but i keep seeing videos on tiktok um i just picked up groceries and the guy who um did my pickup order was so cute he because my two-year-old is rear facing um and i had gotten like a bunch of christmas presents and so as he's loading up all these like toys and stuff in the back he's like nothing to see here just broccoli some brussels sprouts it was so cute so sweet um so now i'm going to unload all of those gifts and hide them um, i'm gonna go inside i i think i got like some fun things i know i got wrapping paper that's fun so um i will show you guys everything and the starbucks people also put a little they were happy holidays on the top how cute okay i am back so first off i got these almond barks um to do like some Christmas cake pops and some Christmas hot cocoa bombs. Come on, baby. And then I got some, a big thing of holiday sprinkles. Also for cake pops, hot cocoa bombs, and of course, cookies. When we do make cookies, I don't think we're gonna make anything anytime soon, but I got it so that way, like when I do get the urge to um, make something, I have it. Oh, and then I also just got some chocolate cake for cake pops. And then, non-holiday related this honey is so so good it's like spicy honey it's delicious um some candy canes which usually our elves bring the candy canes and some gingerbread i got this big gingerbread village usually the elves bring um this too so i'm gonna hide these um to help the elves out and then they can bring them also um not anytime soon i just got them so that way like i have them when we're ready for them i also got these some um holiday shaved fruit snacks and then like i mentioned i got some wrapping paper i just kept it um like simple this year if you saw any of last year's vlogmas i got like the kids like kid themed wrapping paper and i just really honestly prefer like the classic christmas stuff so i just went with some buffalo check and some um, trucks with trees 
and yeah. Okay, I just put these nails on and I love them. This is like the perfect length. I need to find like more fake nails that are like this length. I, I need, I'm rusty at putting them on though. I used to be able to put them on and make them look so natural. Um, need some practice, but I really want to get into wearing them more. I also got this box from Influencer and they sent this hair dye. I don't think I'm gonna be dyeing my hair. Auntie. Yeah, baby. I don't think I'm gonna be dyeing my hair anytime soon, but I will put this, um, save it for, you know, when I get a wild hair and wanna go blue. I have like a dark, my daughter's right here hanging out. Um, I have a dark blue from Punky Colors. Bless you. I have a dark blue from Punky Colors. Um, and I don't know. This is more of like a teal, so this will be fun, but uh, I'm feeling, I'm just feeling the blonde lately. I don't want to do anything crazy right now. All right, so Christmas cards just came in and I got this, um, this was like a sheet of stickers that came in that Amazon toy magazine. So I used all the stickers and I even like cut, cause see even the background is like, has some pretty things. So I even like made my own stickers by cutting some of the backgrounds. Hi. And I just used them to do the cards. See, here's one that I cut because it had a little candy cane. There's another one I cut with a little hat. Another one I cut that had the little, I don't know what, like branch leaf thing. Um, and so all of these are ready to be mailed out. And I just, I love doing stationary things. So I always share it. Um, and yeah. Look what my amazing husband picked up for me. He went to the grocery store and just came back with a bunch of treats. So first off, peppermint bark. This looks so delicious. And also it's like really thin bark. I like, I prefer when peppermint bark is on the thinner side because it's just easier to eat. It's easier to bite through. This is from Walmart and it looks so delicious. So there's that. And then a bunch of my favorite lint. He got the, um, the box, the gourmet ones. And then he also got these holiday ones. I don't think I've tried these. And it has milk chocolate, fudge swirl milk chocolate, and milk with white milk chocolate. Doesn't that sound so good? So I'm basically in chocolate heaven right now. All right, so my um, Iron for Movement stuff came in. If you guys missed my, was it my last vlog or my, my vlog before? Um, I signed up for like a virtual 5k, 10k. I'm just doing the 5k because this is my first one ever. Um, and so I signed up. I was actually like, my goal originally was to be able, I was doing the Couch to 5k program. My goal is to be able to run the whole thing by December 26th. I wanted to do my run um, the day after Christmas, but then I got COVID um, I was doing really well, like training, um, and then I got COVID and it like took me out for two weeks. We quarantined for two weeks. Um, and now it's, a like a month later, um, and I have not worked out in a month. I haven't done my, my run in a month. Um, so I'm kind of like, just not gonna have super high expectations I'm still gonna do it but mine's definitely gonna be like a walk slash jog probably more on the walking side um this week I want to start getting back into training but I just ever since I got COVID I've had no motivation and we didn't even get it that bad um but anyways my gear came in so I'm doing the um I run for peppermints. The, did I say the company? It's called I run for movement. So here is a bag of stuff. And then here's the shirt I picked out. You could choose between a tank top, a shirt, or you could pay a little extra money and get a hoodie, like a runner's hoodie. I chose the tank top. Um, cause the tank top came in black and the t-shirt came in red. Um, and I just liked the black better. Had the t-shirt also been black, I probably would have chosen the t-shirt. Um, but I run for peppermint mochas. It's just a cute shirt. 
They have a ton of different runs on their site. And honestly, after this one, I might choose a different run to do, like a couple more months down the line. They had some really cute runs for New Year's as well. Um, but I thought that would just be like too, too many runs too close in time. Um, I need one like further out so I have like more time to train. They send you like a little card with just like how to do your run and it's really just, you know, you do it on your own time, do it anywhere, post pictures to social media. Um, and I don't know, you probably like make friends and stuff while doing it, but I haven't really looked into that. Here's my race bib. Four, five, nine, four. So then you put that on while you're running. I might be too embarrassed to run around my neighborhood with that on. Um, and they give you some pins to pin your race bib on. But like I said, I'll probably put it on for like a picture. I don't know if I'll run around my neighborhood. And then you get a medal. I don't even know what I would do with the medal. Honestly, I like the t-shirt because I would wear it, you know, just any, like, like I would just use it for like any old working out t-shirt. I have no idea what the hell I'm going to do with a medal. I guess it's cool. So here's metal. It's really cute too. It's like, like a legit metal. Metal. So, you know, get your Instagram photo wearing that as well. And then this particular run, because it's peppermint mochas, they send you a Starbucks gift card. They send you a Starbucks gift card and for $5 so you can get a peppermint mocha after you complete your run, which is cool. Um, and then they also, um, part of the proceeds also get donated. It doesn't say on here. I forget like which, which, uh, charity part of the proceeds get donated to, but some of the proceeds do get donated. Um, so that's pretty cool. So excited. I'm excited for this. I'm still going to do it. I'm just going to, I'm going to do my best, but, um, you know, getting COVID kind of put a wrench in things, but I do plan on doing another one. I might plan on doing another one in the spring. Um, but I'm going to keep an eye on their website and just see if there's any like runs that interest me. Cause like I said, they have so many different ones. Um, they had a lot of different ones for the holidays. They had really cute ones for New Year's. I'm actually, I'm gonna put a picture of the one that I considered doing for New Year's, but then I was like, uh, that's just like too close, two runs too close in time, especially since they're virtual. If they were in person, I was doing like two in-person runs back to back. Sure, I had to do it. But since it's like a virtual run, um, and it's also my first time doing a run, I just, not for me. I just have how many weeks till Christmas? Like two more weeks till Christmas. So I have two weeks to get my mojo back. Um, and yeah, so that is my little unboxing of my I Run for Peppermint Mochas um, running kit. Is this, what is this called? I have no idea, but it's all the gear. So yeah. All right, everyone. So um, that's going to be it for today's vlog. I hope you all enjoyed and I will see you in the next one. Bye, guys.